During the pandemic, we've seen a boom in the, you know, the use of cycling in the Philippines. Yeah. So, so, anong forecast yung outlook niyo with the cycling here in the Philippines? Yeah, I think it's uh, growing. I think it's a big deal that I heard that there was a gravel race with 3,000 riders. So, the problem with uh, cycling in the Philippines in Manila is that the nearest place is Antipolo. Malayo. If you're in Makati, uh, when you want to get the foot of Marcos Island, it's 45 minute bike ride. Same car, 45 minutes. Sir. So, wala masyadong place. Sa trails, I'm not, I think La Mesa might be closing the bike ride. Ito na lang. Sa Manila. So, I think that's the problem is, is the lack of uh, you know, places to ride seriously. We welcome the increase in the number of bike lanes. But these mga trails, Konti the only good. Konti. But you asked, uh, please interview the, the Japanese people later. They're interesting. The guy was an Olympian. Uh, he's very well known in Japan. Uh, and Nicole is on his team in Japan. Uh, and he was saying, I said, how is this comparison? It's nicer than the, 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 tra the trails. Uh, and yeah, so, you know, but ito lang. <laughs> so we wish there were more. Uh, and it's private, so they, they, has, they have to recoup their investments. In the U.S., there are public parks that are open to all, it's maintained by the Forestry Service, it's private. So hopefully there will be more trails.